Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeling here, weatherweb.net. It's Saturday the uh, 16th of February. Thanks again for watching. As always, the site's kept free of charge by the adverts you see around the screen here. And it's by you coming back and using the adverts and using the site. That's what keeps it free of charge. So thank you for doing that. Um, remarkably dry week ahead which I know is going to be great news for the farmers amongst you who watch um, it looks like we should get some uh, some dry weather for many through the course of the week although it is going to be turning cooler and uh, as far as those of you who fly we've got lots of aviators who watch as well it looks as if Sunday's not going to be too bad with um, mist and fog soon clearing in the morning and for those of you who sail it's not too bad either with uh, generally light winds although it might just be a little bit too light through parts of the channel and along the east coast and also some fog along western coast too but uh, for uh, all of us really I mean even if that's not your bag and you don't do those things but you just want to get outside it's uh, not turning into too bad a weekend so let's just take a look uh, at that total rainfall chart first of all um, this is the total precipitation going through to close of play uh, next uh, next Sunday and uh, you can see just how little rainfall there is look predicted by the GFS it's really just bits and pieces along the uh, eastern and southern coast this really coming in in the form of snow flurries during the course of the second half of the week although do be aware that we could find low cloud really penetrating its way westwards anyway through kind of this sort of zone it will bring some snow flurries later in the week although just totals aren't going to be remarkable one or two millimeters nearer threes and fours down these eastern and southern coasts so you can see how the rain is being held at bay look up here to the north and down there to the southwest as well so the high pressure doing its job hopefully it'll allow things to dry out a fair bit in the week ahead but this is the pressure chart then this is four six o'clock this morning here's our area of high pressure centered out here two centers one here we've got one here as well you can see how these fronts are kind of being held at bay out towards the west and more moist southwest flow just bringing some low cloud and bits and pieces of drizzle through the irish sea but as the high builds in even that will clear away uh, i think through the course of this evening still some bits and pieces of drizzle affecting southern parts of Scotland and the southern coast of Ireland. You can see this here just on this moist feed. But generally for many it looks like being a dry night with some clear spells. For Sunday high pressure is in control again so it could be some fog patches around first thing particularly across these sort of eastern parts of the country but I think they'll be clearing away fairly quickly and then for most of us there should be some sunny spells. I think it's just going to be the uh, southern parts of Ireland here perhaps the far south of uh, southwestern parts of Scotland and perhaps just here around the coasts of uh, southern down and eastern Louth that uh, see some low cloud and drizzle but generally for many it should be a fair day with some sunny spells throughout Sunday. Increasing southeasterly winds out in the west, you see the ice bars becoming close together there, but generally high pressure stays in control overnight. A frost overnight into Monday morning and some mist and fog again could occur, particularly across Scotland and across eastern parts of the UK. That clears away and then for Monday it's another dry day with some good spells of sunshine around, although again it's going to be low cloud that affects uh, sort of Ireland and the far southwest, bits and pieces of drizzle blocked in here. Elsewhere once the mist and fog goes we should find some sunny spells and it shouldn't be too bad a day at all. Then into uh, Tuesday, well into Tuesday we're going to find that um, there will be um, some sunshine again but you notice there what's happening is that cloud is increasing from the west look bring some outbreaks of rain to these eastern coasts as the easterly winds start to pick up during the latter part of uh, Tuesday afternoon overnight into Wednesday I think these eastern areas tend to stay dry with some clear skies then into Wednesday itself a change takes place we find this east to northeasterly wind feeding in you can see there that it's bringing these outbreaks of rain sleet and increasingly snow to eastern and southern coasts I think it will push low cloud within this sort of zone there so what we're going to find is probably cloud and much colder conditions through the course of the day on Wednesday although these eastern areas tend to stay generally fair with some sunshine although bits and pieces of drizzle again you can see there for southern coasts of Ireland then into Thursday, well, the uh, easterly wind really gets going. I think what it's going to do is to pull in um, snow flurries from the east, affecting many parts of eastern Scotland, northeast England, the Midlands, and southern parts of England too. Probably more protective for western coast of Wales and also the western coast of Scotland, where it'll be dry with some sunny spells, but doesn't take much for the moisture to pick up again and most of Ireland to become cloudy with some outbreaks of rain too. By then you can see high pressure is to the north and we've got low pressure down there towards the south. So then what happens? Well let's just get 
So here is the ensemble then for Friday. You see this cold pool that's in here. This is responsible for bringing the outbreaks of sleet and snow across eastern and southern areas. And let's face it, by Friday that's going to be snow. It's going to be feeling cold as well in that increased easterly wind. And it looks as if that lasts through much of Saturday too. So a snow watch again for eastern and southern parts of the UK, but always the best of the sunshine uh, towards the west. And then as we head in towards Sunday, so uh, we're going to find high pressure still over the top of us. Still got an east northeasterly wind uh, through the country during the course of Sunday and into the start of the new week and the um, GFS ensemble tries to bring in look this southwesterly flow back up from the southwest during next week it, it breaks through it says it's going to break through I remain to be convinced of that but it looks like high pressures out here towards the east I think what will happen is a ridge will build the high will go in here this jet will split down here and what we'll do is find areas of low pressure crossing the south which all ties in with a forecast of it becoming cooler and more unsettled uh, through the end of February and into the early part of March. This is how um, the uh, GFS sees uh, temperatures. Um, you see them coming off here into this really cold spell here. Look at the end of the week. It really is going to feel quite bitterly cold I think at the end of this week. But then temperatures picking up as it sees that southwesterly kick in. However what I think will happen is that this profile will exist here but then temperatures pick up kind of into the latter part of next weekend and then stay flat somewhere around that sort of five or six degree mark so all going according to plan at the moment uh, i think the main emphasis of the weather really is going to is going to be how dry it becomes and uh, what good news that is for those of you waiting for dry weather to come in as i say don't expect it to be completely dry there'll be some snow flows around but it does look as if it's going to